Am I live? Hi. Hi, everybody. I'm just trying to fix up. Well, there's a fugazi of stuff going on here. I have no clue. Um, Hello. Welcome to the channel. Welcome to Live at Five, everybody. Um, Oh, Lee, I'm so glad Lee is back on the game. He is setting up the fountains and marshmallows and fruits and all the yummies. And he took out my garbage. That's his, that's like a dozen roses. I mean, really, can somebody take out the trash? My nuts, how are you today? Critifer, look what I'm wearing just for you. <laughs> I know I'm too short in this chair to show it. So I'm just going to keep doing Larry. Larry alert. A Larry alert. Uh, Sparkle Dust and Diamonds. Hello, darling. How are you? Tina Marina. Hey, girl. How are you today? I hope everybody's having a good day. Oh, man. The weather. I didn't want to talk about it yet. Um, hello, Rose. Rose Wills is here. I have a uh conundrum of cups tonight. I really do. Might not you good? You good? I'm so glad. I'm glad you didn't get any damage from all the um the weather. I was talking with my cohort, Ken. You know, Ken, don't you? <laughs> Well, <clears throat> let me see if I can do this. I've got stuff everywhere. I'm a big freaking mess. If you guys had a camera that saw how crazy all this all this mess is, you would call orders on me. I know you would. Okay, so it's talking to Ken. We were actually in a tornado warning. Yeah. And I was like, oh, it'll pass. It's fine. And as it turned out, there was a big weather system here and a big weather system here. And we were in the middle. So it went right around us, went right out to the ocean to tick off the sharks. Okay. I have, um, I'm so glad to see you guys. I have many cups today. I have my, this is my cocoa cup, which is my Curb Your Enthusiasm because this is the last week. It says pretty, pretty, pretty cute. And whenever he, uh, whenever Larry has a remark about something, he's kind of talking about himself going pretty, 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 pretty good. Because he did a good thing. But it was completely by accident, I promise you. Mickey! Hang on, Mickey, let me get you. Why does it keep disappearing like that? Hi, Mickey! Hello, peoples! Hi! I'm good. I'm hiding my hair. I need to do a touch-up. Oh my God, if I get any grayer, I'm going to have to audition for the Golden Girls. It's really, it's really getting bad. It really is. Um, do you like my bow? Oh, I'm glad. I know. It's supposed to go on the back of your hair, but I had to hide all the crap in the front. So I said, what the hell? Let's just double bow it up. Um, I've got my Larry shirt on. My Larry David with his Fulton Prison. Uh, uh, jail sign. I know. I cannot. You know, they originally started Curb Your Enthusiasm 21 years ago. And 21 years ago, I mean, there are things they said then that you can't say today. It's amazing. Wow, the climate um, and everything has changed. 
I'm waiting for my Miss Deborah to pop in. I'm hoping she will. I want her to know I've got her cup. It's right here. It looks like I'm delayed. Am I delayed to you guys? Is is the video catawonky? I'm trying to see. <clears throat> anyway, so I have the curb cup and I have this cup and this is our cup. And I wanted, she always, I mean, all through, we've been talking on the phone for quite a while. We become very, very close phone friends. And she would always say, um, you look adorable a little, a little. <laughs> hey, I tried. I put on lipstick and deodorant. Like I was worried you guys were going to smell me through the, through the wires. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> um, I need to put my glasses on because I can't see now. Okay. Uh, yeah, StreamYard is always a bit ahead of YouTube. Okay, so I just want to make sure we're, we're all good. Anyway, um, uh, Cajun and I would get into these conversations, and we just love to chat. There are people you can talk to, and people you're just like, hi, what do you need? And she's not like that. And I'm not like that. I'm the slow goodbyer. If I walk you to the car after a party, we're going to take 20 minutes to say goodbye. Where my husband is like, can you just say goodbye? Can you say goodbye? Do the Irish goodbye. Do, do the, oh, look what's over there, and then fly out the door. But with Cajun, I always, I always find myself chatting away. And um, she used to always say this to me. She still does. I wish you lived next door. So I found this cup company and they did everything. I mean, every detail. Our hair, our coffee cups, our tumblers, our slippers, everything. And I said, I think that might make her feel better because when you're used to having coffee every day, I used to have coffee every day with a good friend of mine. and. Um, she passed away and I missed it so much. Even if we had our coffee on the phone because she didn't, she didn't live close to me, but we always got up at the same time. And the first thing we always said, do you have your coffee yet? Do you have your coffee yet? Hang on, I'm making it, I'm making it. Or no, I've had coffee for an hour. Where you been? You know? So it was always so much, you know, it was, it was just our morning routine. And I think that's what's, um, sorry, even the earrings are going catawonky. They don't want to cooperate at all. Um, anyway, so I got a gadget this week, you guys. Okay. I, um change the colors of the accessories in my kitchen. I didn't want, I used to have red. I didn't want red anymore. That's George. He's not feeling great. We have to take him to the vet. I'll tell you about it in a minute. Not, it's not serious, but it might be because I may have to x-ray his foot. And that is going to be an act of apocalyptic. Anyway. So I changed all my colors to this. Now I used to have a big four quart, you know, KitchenAid mixer. And instead I said, forget it. Let's get a smaller one. So I got a smaller one. I got a cookie jar and I wanted a double butter dish because I'm the kind of girl who leaves the butter out. And this you can put two or even four sticks in and not have to do the butter fight. Who does the butter fight? Let me see a hands up for anybody who has to wake up in the morning with cold butter from the refrigerator and do the butter fight. I hate it. It ruins my whole day. I know it's a stupid little thing, right? But anyway, so this came with <laughs> this little butter knife. And I didn't have the butter knife at first. It was wrapped in a 
a separate, see you've got this pretty little porcelain butter knife to spread your, this is what it looked like. Please. I mean, I thought I had the ultimate double butter dish in the Tiffany blue that I wanted that matches my canisters and matches my mixer. And then he showed up. I mean, is is it me or is something a little, I don't You guys, I guess we're not taking that knife off ever, 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 ever. Even with the knife on, it looks a little funky, but I just... <laughs> Sparkle. Sparkle's like, oh, well, that's a little... That's a little let's get happy. Oh, what, am I... What's too low? Oh, okay. Hold on. Long suffering says the butter dish is too low. Look at look at this. <laughs> trying to be a perv or anything, but is it weird? Okay, Sparkle now wants the butter dish. Um, I got it on. Oh God, now she needs it. She needs the butter dish. Um, I got it on Amazon, and it wasn't too terribly expensive. But I, I liked it because it was porcelain and it had, you know, it, it keeps the butter cool, but not. I don't want to have a butter fight. Hey, Matt, Sparkle, sorry it took so long to reply. Dad was talking. Oh, how's your father? How's your family? Everybody good? Everybody good? I hope you're good, Critifer. Critifer seems to have the, um, the notion that, I don't know if I, do, do you guys like this nail color? Oh, what do you think? Wait, 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 wait. It looks a little dirty. I feel like I, it's like putty or that spackle stuff you put in between brick. I'm not loving it. Anyway, um, I didn't have time to repolish. I'm sorry. I barely had time to do this, this lipstick, and I'm good to go. We're going, we're going very ooh and natural today. Um, credit for things. They're all going to wind up in jail. Well, Larry is going to wind up in jail because of all of the offensive things he's accidentally said over the years. But I think we're going to lose Larry. I think he's going to die. And I'm going to tell you why. I saw a tiny little spoiler. I can't find it. They had it on and then they yanked it off. How rude. How rude. And I just, but I, but I got in time to see it. Um, you have to forgive me. It's springtime. I could put a mirror in front of my hair. You know, I'm only going to do this if I have to like, actually blow but i'm not blowy i'm just running um anyway he's in a hospital room and the hospital people are saying to him um is there anything larry i just want to tell you there's there's no way through this there's nothing more we can do for you <gasps> I'm like, oh, my God, Larry. Well, as it turns out, you know, it's like, is there anything you want to uh, get get right with your with your heart? And then they start showing just a tiny little bit. You know, this show's been on for 21 years. They go on, they take a break. They go on, they take a break. And, uh... 
But I think, no, he, he, it shows all the stuff he's done over the years. And then he looks up at the doctor and he goes, no, I'm, I'm good. No remorse at all. <laughs> the thing about Larry is he doesn't, <laughs> he's like, I was right. I was right. You were wrong, you know? And, and so, um, yeah, I don't know. I'm very excited to see it. Oh, and I got something else. Honey, can you bring it in? Long suffering. I'm making him work overtime today. Babe. Can I, uh, can you bring in my shirt? I had a real shirt oh. dilemma. Yeah, George. Okay, so George got something. Can I see the the shirt with, with George on it? Uh, he got me the cutest thing. I mean, I didn't even know it. It was like it's such a... And I almost didn't get it because the mailman put it in a real box. And then the postman texts and says, you know, you have a delivery. So John goes out there in the pouring rain. I mean, deathly, like he could have been hit by debris to get this thing out of the mailbox and it's not there. So George had a Karen moment. He went all Karen on the post office, people. Hi, Kayleen. How you doing, honey bun? So he went all crazy on the post office, people. And the postman actually came back to the post office and brought the shirt because he was like, if she doesn't have it today, she's not going to be able to use it and look at what he had made for me. It's George. It's George. And it has, look, it has the whole um, eclipse and the date. And look at his little glasses. Isn't that cute? <laughs> I fell in love with it. It's like four sizes too big, but I don't care. I don't care. So, anyways, so we got um we got our shirt back from the post people, and they said they were sorry. And you know, John, of course, turned off his caring button. And turned into a decent human being again. Yeah, I know. It's not going to be like the Seinfeld characters. But you know what? The characters he's had on. Oh, my God. A-list actors. De Niro. Pacino. Um, guy from American Pie. Oh, that was hilarious. Season one. Go back to season one. Stephen Colbert is on the show and he is telling Larry you're going to fail on Broadway because he's trying to do a, a cameo on the producers which back then the producers was I've seen the producers three times I love it I have the movie I have the DVD I don't know what I'm going to do with all these DVDs guys are you a DVD hoarder like me? It's okay. You can admit it. This is a safe space. We can we can say so if we want to. But I got a lot of DVDs. And there's something about them. Like um, John bought me the entire. Sorry, I'm cleaning more glasses. I have like four pairs of eyeglasses on this desk. Um. John got me the whole season, the box of all the seasons of Rescue Me. There are days when I just, oh my God. Dennis O'Leary is such a slob. He's just like Larry. He says all the wrong things to all the wrong people at all the wrong times. But, you know, when you want him, you want him. Lee, hi. I already said hello. Thank you. Thank you. Lee set up a beautiful buffet and there are charcuterie and, 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 and chocolate. And I swear, Lee, I need to send you a dozen roses because you took out my garbage. 
That is real love. Yeah. When have you ever gone to somebody's house and said, let me take out the trash? Ever. Anyway. Yeah. Oh, it's okay that you forgot. It's it's Thursday. Anyway, so um, besides my weird butter dish, this is the lid of the butter dish in case you just came in. This is my... I wanted... This is my gadget of the week. I wanted a big butter dish. Wait. Let's show you them. It says butter. Butter. So, um, yeah, I think when Richard comes to say hello, um, he's coming the first week in May and he's going to stay for a week. And, uh, yes, I'm going to just gobble up all his attention. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I mean, we're just like five-year-olds. We can't stand it. Anyway, George got something in his paw. I got him up on the bed. I'm feeling under the paw because he's limping now. He's favoring it. And uh, even the lady outside was like, is George okay? What's wrong with George? And my husband noticed it. And I thought, well, it's too cold for bugs and ticks and everything to be out. You know, maybe he got something in his foot. And I'm reaching way into his, now his toe pad. Is as long as my thumb. I'm not kidding. He, he's got some bare feet. This dog's got some chow chow paws. But he didn't like me messing with it a lot. So I'm feeling kind of up in the toe pad while I'm giving him snossies to, oh, God, to hear the word. Damn it. Damn it. I had to say it. Three, two, one. Good, I think he missed it. Anyway, um, so I, I has it been a long day? I'm sorry, Lee. I'm so sorry. We're gonna try to make it better for you. We're just gonna, you know, goof around. It's just me today. No, no fancy schmancies. Um, but anyway, so George has to go to the vet. Uh Tomorrow morning, and they're going to have to sedate him to get an x-ray because, George, you know, my vet is great. She is a large animal vet, so she understands the way he thinks and his mentality. And when I go in with him, he becomes protective. He doesn't growl, he doesn't bite or anything, but it took us three visits to get a blood draw out of George. So, um, yeah, they said give him his happy pills tonight, give him another one early in the morning, and I have to have him there between 7.30 and 8. And hopefully <clears throat> he will, um, you know, Go to La La Land for a little while and get his paw x-rayed because I'm afraid we have hardwood floors. Now, I have area rugs everywhere, but there are places where I don't. And when he jumps off the bed, he leaps. He's like a reindeer. He just leaps around. He leaps onto the sofa. He leaps onto the couch. He leaps off of the bed. And when he did, I think he leaped onto the wood floor. And I think he may have hurt it or sprained it. But nevertheless, we're going to go spend a lot of money. She's not cheap, but she's worth every penny. Um, you know, there are things you get in life that you feel like, why is she buying all this crap, you know? And then there's moments when you're like, I don't care. My baby doesn't feel good. So George is going to the doctor. <laughs> He's going to the doctor. And I have to walk him in and everything and, you know, go in the back with them.
because I don't want my dog muzzled and um, she's fine with that. But she's like, you have to hold him while I give him his happy shot. And I was like, I think he'll be fine with that. I mean, he's had a shot before where he was okay with the shots. It was just that blood draw. That blood draw took a minute. And by the time you start feeling the blood come out, you know, you're, you're like, whoa, wait a minute, wait a minute. So we're going to find out if his paw's okay. He is walking on it. He's favoring it a lot. Um, he's not denning. He's actually right here by me. He's not, um, like, you know, going to hide in a corner or anything. So I don't think he's in pain, but, um, thank God they give him the, the trazodam to, to kind of, you know, they give him that because, uh, when there's like the other night we had, you know, tornado warnings and thunder and, oh, uh, the apocalyptic crap. So, um, I give him one on those occasions. He doesn't get it all the time. But yeah, I hope his pup paws okay because that is my boy. And I really, really want him to feel, you know, better by three or four in the afternoon because we're going to go to the beach and we're going to take you with us and we're going to live stream and we're going to do. I've got my glasses. I got all my glasses. I bought extras for the uh, fire department uh, because there's a fire department right by our beach and the firefighters might want a pair. So I always bring extra along. You never know. You can get like 30 of them for a dollar. I mean, it's ridiculous. Um, but this picture of, I mean, talk about capturing his expression, his little eyes are up here, look, above the glasses. And I just think it's so funny. And it commemorates the day, whether we get to see it or not. Now, I know some of you Texans are going to get rubbed. Um, well, be careful, girl. You're going to knock over everything. Okay, I'll just put it in my lap. Anyway, um... There's a lot going on here. Okay, so I've got two rows of the mask. And I uh, contacted Angie. Angie, are you here? Is Angie here? Angie's not here yet. Um, I contacted Angie and she said she's doing a J-Wall along for an event. I think you have to Google and all that stuff, but... I haven't done any of it. So I have gotten two rows done. So I kind of feel like I'm keeping up with the class, you know. But I really, really want to get this done. And then I have to do my You May Art. Um, and they both need to be finished and framed by May 1. Uh, because you know how it is when you've got company coming? You just want everything to look perfect. He sees this crap room. He's gonna he's gonna lose his mind. I mean, he's gonna call people. I know, I know Richard. He's gonna call people. Oh, I hope not. Yeah, they stopped eating too, but he's he has not stopped eating uh when they're in pain. So he is no, actually the medication, he's like a stoner. It gives him the munchies. I think there's weed in that stuff because he's like, Mom, I need a cookie right now. And I'm like, okay, calm down. But it calms him down through the bad weather. And I've never, ever, I've had three generations of Great Baronies, and I've never had one that is scared of weather. Hey, Dip! Dip in time, will you be mine? Dip in time, will you be mine? Hi, girl. How's the pooty cooty kitty? We're talking about George. He hurt his foot. He has to go to the back there. I don't know. We have to get it x-rayed. I'm not sure what he did, but he's limping on it. 
And it's his front paw, not a back paw. So I don't know. Can you send me some? <laughs> anyway, um, I could. Actually, I could get you some glasses. You, you want some of these, Sparkle? You need you need Eclipse glasses? Okay, go to Big White Dogs 1, the number 1. Write it down, Big White Dogs 1, and I will get you. I'll send you some. Yeah. I mean, if I put them out in the mail today, I don't know. The, the Eclipse is on Monday. Tomorrow is Friday. Uh, I might be able to get them there. It's iffy. But you can get them also. Oh, Mutt Nuts, thank you. I was going to say you can get them from the police department. You can get them from the library. A lot of grocery stores are handing them out. So look around your neighborhood a little bit. Because, um, you know, you might find. Yeah, I know. He's going to be fine. I'm more worried about him being under under the the anesthesia mesia because. You know, I had a friend who had a beautiful, oh my God, his name was Romeo, and he was a beautiful English Mastiff. She dressed this dog up like it was a little Pomeranian. I'm not kidding. The dog had a better wardrobe than I did. The dog had like Louis Vuitton crap, okay? She adored this dog so much. So anyway, um... She kind of went through what I went through, where she, you know, when you have a stroke, you're not as strong as you used to be. So it's kind of hard for me to groom and wash. And I mean, it's like washing a car, washing my dogs, I'm telling you. And um, she wanted to get his nails cut. And they overdosed him on the table and he passed away. And he was only seven. And there was nothing wrong with him. And I'm sure that the vet felt awful. But as a mother, um, you know, that crap happens. Okay. And it's in my head now. And I'm starting to think a little bit about Dee and about, you know, everything she went through with her dog. And I'm kind of, <laughs> maybe I need a pill. <laughs> <laughs> really? I think he's going to be fine. She, like I said, she knows how, how he is. Everybody up there knows and loves George. Even with George's, I don't like the vet kind of, I'm a scaredy, scaredy. He really is the cowardly lion at the vet. He's not aggressive. He's not mean, but he, I mean, you know, we had to take him out in the car and literally, like, try to draw blood out of his butt, you know, through the car window because he's just like that. But uh, when you have a vet that will go that far, um, you know, <laughs> I don't think I have to have, uh, I don't think we need glasses for your cat. I think I think that this was just a joke. I don't know though. Does anybody know if an eclipse would affect a dog's vision? Because I know it affects them like Oh, excuse me. I gotta take a drink real quick. Ah. Uh, cheers, Cajun. She's having time at home with her husband, so uh, she may not be here tonight, but we're all sending you love, and and I wish you lived next door. I wish we lived here. Don't you want to live here? Anyway, listen, don't. She's like, I'm going to put it in a cupboard. I'm never going to drink it. Drink out of the cup. It's a coffee cup. I drink out of it every day, girl. Anyway. You're not going to get it dirty. It's dishwasher safe. All that yada yada. It's just a coffee cup. But oh yeah. Here comes the rain again. 
ruining all my dog walking. I know. I know. Here we go. It was sunny like two hours ago. And John couldn't walk. He didn't walk George very long. He just barely got him out, let him do what he had to do. And then he kind of gimped back. Um, so, but he's he's still looking for snozzies and he's still, you know, he wants his dinner and he's he's doing fine. All of that is okay. I just I just want to make sure that something didn't get in his foot and then under the toe pad. So yeah, I know. I know. This rain. I don't know what to tell you. Because I'm just hoping it gets the hell out of here by May when my friend comes. I'm not even worried about seeing cherry blossoms now. I don't think we're going to get to. I think they're probably withering out by now. Um, usually the cold weather is good for the blossoms because it, it holds them. They're, they're a springtime flower. They like the cold weather. But I don't know if they like this much rain. And the basin is flooded. Flooded. If you're going to D.C., save your money. Save your $150 parking. Although, I have a tip for you. If you ever do go to D.C. and you want to go down to the basin and you want to see all the monuments and everything, there's a hotel um, right there. Literally, less than a block away. And they only charge $25 for parking for the whole day. And they'll valet and they'll park your car. And then when you come and pick it up, it's only 25 bucks plus a tip, which is a steal compared to some of the parking. I'm talking hundreds with an S, hundreds of dollars. Jack is here. Hello, Jack. Look at that smile. How are you doing, Jack? My, oh, Jack. I love Jack. Jack, like, I mean, every time Jack does an upload, I know it's calm down and shut up time. I don't do other stuff when Jack is on. I know, Jack, look how gray my hair is. I could have touched it up before, you know, the man comes to visit me. Yeah. He's going to be like, girl, what you do to your hair? But he went blonde, so. <laughs> Anyway, Richard, I love you if you're out there. Um, Berta, Berta, Berta is here. Berta's looking. Oh, Berta. What kind of trouble are we getting into today? Hey, Berta. Okay, Berta, let me show you. Because you and Jack came in late. I just wanted to show you. I got a butter dish. All right. And it has um a knife thing on it okay but when you take the knife off <laughs> this is going on my kitchen counter is my mind just distorted or are you all seeing what i'm seeing because i'm seeing something a little weird on the butter dish but I'm happy to get uh, the teal butter dish, the, the Tiffany Blue, that I need. Oh, God. Okay. Man, I'm like a greasy little desperate teenager. I don't know how to get the shine off. I've been powdering myself to death. I think it's from the humidity from all of the weather. Tammy, Tammy, Tammy. Hi, girlfriend. So glad you're here. She's got smiles for everybody. Tammy, 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 look at you. I see your crazy self too, girl. How you doing? Look, curb your enthusiasm. Look, we're ready. And are you ready? Does everybody want a Larry Flash? 
Larry, David is flashing. He's flashing. This is his mug shot from Al from Al Alabama. What I think you need to do is go back to Greenbow, Alabama. Do you know Greenbow is not even a real place? I googled. I googled. Yeah. Anyway, so I'm getting all excited about uh, the last final episode of Larry David. Do I think Larry's finished for life? No, but I do think they're gonna. I think they're that he might die in the end. I really do. Or go to jail because he's in a lot of trouble. He's got an attorney who's like, Larry, this is not good. Larry, this is not good. But I mean, oh, long suffering and I, we get Larry. We love Larry. Oh, and then we started watching. Are you guys ready? It's like one, what is it called? Ugh, long suffering. He's like my brains today. I should have him in here doing the whole thing because I don't even know what I'm saying. But it's on Netflix and it's called One. What is it, honey? The 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 series. Forgive me. See, I, I keep getting stuck on one. It's three, three, three body problem. Now everybody told me. Don't watch it. Don't watch it. You're going to be scared to death. But you know what? It's a little more sci-fi. There are a couple of moments when I have to hide under the covers because I don't like like scary, creaturey things. But it's sort of like a video game. It kind of reminds me of that video game. Remember the Chinese video game where everybody had to you know, uh, kill off everybody else and you did the thing with the cookie. I could have done the cookie. I could have done the cookie. I did the cookie. I mean, it's not that hard to do. You just have to take your time and go very, very slowly. Anyway, um, does long suffering know what you are really using that... <laughs> <laughs> okay. Listen, it's just butter. I'm only using it for butter, weirdo. Cut it out, Sparkle. <laughs> no. <laughs> Richard is going to cure you of your horror phobia. He thinks he is, but he doesn't know. I'm not, I'm not, I. You know what? It's like I'm I'm sort of like, you know, I mean it's I, I don't know. We always leave little songs to each other on our voicemails. Like he is furious if I can't get to his phone call. Oh, and then I called him the other night and I was trying to do the camera thing, but I couldn't do the camera thing, but I was only on the camera for two seconds. He was getting out of the shower. Who takes a shower in the middle of the day? Ah, Humiliated, but I was singing, How will I know he'll call me? How will I know he'll care? And I always leave him, you know, like, Hello, hello, I don't know why you don't say hi. I say hello, you know, we always come up with hello songs, but I am not. Okay, there's two bridges, too, in Delaware that are severely... It, he can go, but I'm... I mean, I paid a lot of money for my cell phone. I'm not getting messed up. Hi, Kelly! Hi, girl! We're talking about my butter dish that's a little perverted. I got a butter dish, and then it has this knife on it. And when you take the knife off, Look what happens. Did they think this through? Anyway, so um, I'm the girl with the dirty butter. Yeah. Yeah, it's dirty butter. <gasps> Isn't butter supposed to not be? I mean, life without butter. I, I can't even. I can't even fathom life without butter. 
but um yeah kelly so that happened oh kelly i also want to show you um i know you guys are probably sick of this because i keep showing george's look isn't it cute baby george got his own eclipse shirt and I hope he's okay. I hope he's okay to wear to wear it because he has to go to the doctor on Monday. And they're gonna put him under the go go juice. He's getting the he's getting the happy juice so we can get his paw X rayed because I think something might be wrong with his front paw. But um, I'm sure it's nothing. He's eating. He's hobbling around, and I think he's milking it for all it's worth. I really do. Tammy says it's a conversation piece. Can you imagine? <laughs> I can't. What am I going to talk about? This is our phallic butter. It's very sexy butter. It came from very sexy cows. Uh, cows that loved each other very much. And they were legally married. And they were heterosexual cows, and they made this butter. Or I could just say, <laughs> these girls went to the club, and they made some butter, honey. <laughs> Mindy, hello. Mindy, get ready for a Larry David flash. Woo, Larry David's mugshot. Larry David's mugshot. And, um... Mindy, I bought but I bought a butter dish. I was trying to go all Tiffany blue with my accessories in my kitchen. I got a little Tiffany blue mixer and I got canisters and everything. You know when you want to change it up a little bit. And so I bought a butter dish and look at this butter. Look. And it's got a little knife. And when you take the knife off, Mindy, Mindy. I'm trying to be not like that, but look at this. I mean, gadget of the week. I mean, come on. I can't put that out in public, and I'm not putting it in the refrigerator because I do not like cold butter. Anyway, so I cleaned out. Are you ready for this? I did a very, very exciting thing. I should have done this on live but i didn't because i cleaned out long sufferings top drawer what do you guys think the top drawer is for okay it's for socks and jockey shorts i found 28 socks that have no i this is just April. At Christmas time, I said, we're getting rid of all these stray socks. And I'm buying all new socks for everybody. He's got a sock orphanage. That's right. My husband has a sock orphanage going on in that drawer. There are 27 socks with no mates. There's not even a sock that got bleached out and maybe used to look like that sock because he put it in with the cold and not the dark, which I, I mean, my husband is notoriously responsible for me always buying new clothes because he washes them like, I mean, he's like a Viking. I mean, he might as well just beat him on a rock. Anyway, all the socks, we have a sock orphanage. And I put them all on the bed and I took a picture and I said, socks looking for a good home. If you are the kind of person who does not wear socks that match, first of all, what's wrong with you? Why? Come on. They come two in a pair. I mean, where do all the socks go? That's what I want to know. That is bigger of a mystery to me than JFK or anything. I want to know where the damn socks went. Where did they go? I mean, it's only like from here. I have Christmas socks that he has. 
one stupid little gnome sock. Oh, God. I can't wait to set that thing on fire. I hate gnomes. You guys, what is it with the gnomes? I mean, really. Please. Oh, I need this trend with the gnomes. Look at I'm still... Sorry, I'm putting like a pound of powder on. There's nothing to save this today. It's just me in the roar, looking lovely, because I got out of the doctor at 7.30 in the morning with George. Um, yeah, so there's cute. Oh, I don't know. Why are they cute? They're little tiny men who drink too much and look at my skirt. I mean, really, enough with the gnomes. Where is that man undressing? He's undressing right here in the bedroom. He always, he always, I always find a pile. And from the pile to the laundry hamper, something, there's a portal or a mysterious thing happening with the socks but we have a sock orphanage so if you do not care about your socks being the same length oh they're all different kinds it's like i went to a sock store and just said i'll take one of each i'm not kidding 27 socks that have no friend they have no partner they can't go out. They can't go anywhere. I mean, wh what? <laughs> Change the subject to socks now. <laughs> okay, okay, Berta. Gosh, I was just telling you, it was very, very frustrating. And, uh, you know, I looked everywhere. I looked in all the other drawers. I couldn't find them. I looked, you know, I looked under the dryer, behind the dryer, everywhere. Can't find them. They're gone. They're gone. They're gone. They're gone. He's not undressing anywhere weird, Mindy. That's so funny. But, you know, come on, dude. I mean, keep up with your socks. Oh, and I'm, I've got my special coffee cap. This is me and Cajun. And Cajun, every time she talked to me, we talked a lot on the phone when her mother was going through her final days because she was very stressed and lonely. And she would call and, and she would always say this to me, I wish you lived next door. So I got a cup for her with her name on it and I have mine. So we have girlfriend cups and we can drink coffee at the same time. And it's kind of like we are at Make a Sock Puppet Family. <laughs> Kelly, what are you drinking? Do you think I have time to make Sock Puppet Company? I heard real men craft too is coming to my house. I got to clean this, this, this dump up. I mean, I don't have time to make a sock puppet. How do you make a sock puppet? <laughs> Mindy's going to come up with 38 different sock puppets. Watch her. Because Mindy's that girl. She's that girl. You just show Mindy a bag of string. You know, oh, I had to clean out the paper shredder. And I have this whole bag of shredded paper. And she'll say, um, I bet I could do something with that. I mean, she is, she, that's how her brain is. Mindy, your brain is in that creative place where it's like, what is she going to do next? I mean, really. But, um, no, no, I, I don't, I don't, I don't know how to make a sock puppet. I don't know. Do sock puppets scare children? I know. Is that kind of in the clown thing? Tarot Destroyer. Ah, now you know whatever that comment. Okay. Uh, I'm sorry. I think you're new to the channel. I haven't seen you before. But um, welcome to the circus. Yeah, you and Richard can make side puppets. <laughs> 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 Je 
Jack, 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 Jack. You pick a team right now. I mean it. You pick a team right now. And you know that I'm more loyal than that crazy man. I mean it. I am not watching scary movies. No way. But the but the three to one body thing is it's very weird. I fell asleep on it twice. Um because if you put stuff on in the middle of my nap time, you know, that's gonna happen. Anyway, no, no, no. Oh yay! <laughs> Jack! Oh, darling, 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 darling. I love you. Love you more than my shoes and more than the bag I got this week. I got a bag, you guys. I know. I'm not a bag whore, okay? I'm really not a bag whore. And I hate the bag influencers because you know they didn't pay for those bags. Anyway. I saw a bag watching Succession. Team Joanna, yes, yes. We're watching Disney with no creepies in it. Yes. Hi, Viv. Hi, Viv. Hey, Vivian. How you doing, girl? Viv, I got to do a flash for you. Are you ready? You're getting flashed. It's a Larry David. Larry David mugshot. Look, isn't he cute? <laughs> this is going to be so stretched out. Um, it's for the honorary final episode of Larry David this Sunday night. And then I got something for Monday to wear that long suffering husband bought me without even asking. He just wanted to surprise me. And look at what he got. He got George and the Eclipse. Isn't that cute? <laughs> Does it look like him? I think it looks like him. Anyway, I hope we I hope we get to all go see uh uh oh my god, what's that? That's my that's my Larry David mugshot. I watch a show called Curb Your Enthusiasm that I love. Here's the cup, Curb Your Enthusiasm. Pretty, pretty, pretty cute. Um, but anyway, uh, I, I, I know you'd love the Georgie shirt. Georgie has to go to the doctor on Monday. Everybody, hugs and prayers and all your good stuff for George because uh, he has to go under, under the juice, and I always get nervous. He's got um his patty paw. His front paw, he's been limping and favoring it. And we think he might have something in it or he might have sprained it. So they have to x-ray it and x-raying George. Ooh, girl. And my gadget for the week, I have to say it again because Vivian got here late. You, you guys don't mind, right? You don't mind me just saying the same thing over and over again. I'm like a broken record anyway. But look. I got a butter dish, right? Because I wanted it, all my kitchen accessories are this this color now. Wait till you see how weird. It's got a little knife. You take off the knife, and that's what your butter dish looks like. <laughs> comment at will. Yes, comment at will. There's something wrong with the butter. I'm telling you, a couple of happy cows went out. Vivian, I'm telling you, they they had some fun and said, let's make some phallic butter. You know, but I have to have real butter. And I hate butter in the refrigerator because then you have to do the butter fight. You know the butter fight? Yeah. And we're talking about long suffering. He has 27 socks with no mates at all. He is beginning a sock orphanage. And uh, so if anybody would like to adopt a sock, um, please let me know. I took a picture of them all on the bed. I, they're all different sizes. Some are Christmas. 
some are ugly, some are LL Bean socks. I did not buy this. Okay, my husband's a sock snob, you know? I'm not kidding you. He is a sock snob, but I cannot find. Yes, every time I... <laughs> what jack said this is so funny you guys it's like oh i know i know butter is my world if it doesn't have butter on it don't call me and don't come and don't come to my house and think you're going to be healthier because you're eating that crock of whatever the hell that shit is. No, no, no. It's butter or bye. I'm sorry. Yeah. Wifey kicks. You're so gross. Oh, Christopher. God, how awful. I want to be wifey cakes too, but you know, I know you're already spoken for it. Anyway, yes, I'm getting the good Irish butter. The Irish butter with the green and yellow box. Oh, I love that butter so much. Oh, mm. the eggs smile when you cook with that butter. I know they do. I knew they do. But anyway, so John's having a sock orphanage. And, uh, you know, I don't know what to do about it. I, I can't figure it out anymore. I've been keeping up with him and his socks and his ironing and his uniforms and everything for years. This girl's retired. You know what? Find your own damn socks or start a sock orphanage and see if you can get them adopted. But he's got till tomorrow and then they're all going to go in the who's scout. With this guy who's probably going to be in the Who Scout, too. I don't know. I don't know. Oh, how sweet. Oh, Baby Kicks is going to share Critifer with me. You know what? I don't live that far from Critifer. And I promise you, we are going to have a hookup. I mean it. I need to meet you so bad. Critifer and I have been through a lot together. We really have. I mean, you know, I when I had my last stroke, he was there. We didn't laugh. You know, he didn't he didn't laugh at me because I have this lip, you know. I have um now you can't see it really, really good right now because I have the lipstick. I learned the lipstick trip. You know, but it's a little, little Drew Barrymore, kind of. Okay. Yeah. I've just got that little lip. Yeah, she gets tired sometimes. But um, luckily, I survived. Two strokes. Woof! Both of them, I was smart enough to go, I don't feel good. I'm going to the hospital. And I was like, okay. <laughs> they're going to throw you in the crazy, in the crazy camp. And I went, no, I don't think they are. And uh, I was right. So when you're feeling weird and your body just starts to kind of go duh, 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 from inside, go to the doctor, just go to the doctor because they have a new uh, shot that they can give you. And it's called, what is it? A stroke poke? I think it's a stroke poke and it's a shot. And I swear to God, a lady did it on um, YouTube. She was having a stroke while she was on a live stream. You could see her face falling and she got there in time and they gave her the stroke poke. And I'm telling you two hours, three hours later, it was like, like it never happened. So, uh, yeah, don't mess around with strokes, you know, cause they only get worse and then you turn out and you're just like a pound of veal just laying around. So don't do it. Anyway, listen, my time has come to an end. 
So me and my perverted butter and my beautiful cup from my beautiful cage. I was hoping she would pop in, but I know she's doing a ton of stuff. I don't know what's going on today. I hope you're good, girl. Um. Anyway, uh, yeah. And Ball's palsy is the same thing. Yeah. Don't ignore it. Don't ignore it. Um, I want to tell everybody I love you. Please hit the like and subscribe button if you did like it. And if you didn't like it, just leave it. Say something nice or just go to somebody else's church. You know, I mean, really. We're here to have, you know, a good time. Okay. And I hope you all get to see this, uh, the, the, the big, the big, um, uh, the big eclipse. I hope you get a shot of it. It will be a moment in time. And I know some people are saying, oh, eclipsey schmips. So what? But really take the time and enjoy the moment. And you might meet somebody nice while you're doing it. Or just share in all of us all the way around the world. We're all doing the same thing at the same time. And that's a cool moment. Because you can't get anybody to do the same thing the same time around here. I'm going to go looking for socks. I will see you. See you next Thursday. No pun intended. If you take it that way, I know your mind's in the gutter. And I'm going to try to work a little bit on my on my, uh, my Josephine Wall nightmare. Oh, I did pick, no, uh, pick names for the, um, the, the giveaway for the little, oh, hold on. Can I even get in here? I'm going to type tonight. The little trays. And not only did I give away two, I gave away three. So I'm going to be contacting you for your information. Um, if you would like a little tray and, uh, so oh, I'm so glad we had this time together just to try to find an orphan sock. Yes, I know that we are just, no, I'm not going to go there. Okay. I love you guys so much. Take care. Have a great week. And, uh, yes, well. Thursday, Tuesday, same tea. Okay, Lee, we're going to keep it clean. <gasps> we're going to try. <laughs> anyway, I'll see you guys later. How will I know? Anyway, um, I'm all hooked on that song now. Um, I'll see you soon. And, oh, I do have an unboxing. <gasps> a good one, too. It's a deck. And I haven't had a lot of jacks lately, so this one's good. But anyway, uh, I'll talk to you later. Have a great weekend. Um, keep a thought for George. And uh, I love you too, Jack. I love you. Love you, love you, love you. Lee, quit laughing your butt off. We don't need to hear about that. What, what What's wrong with you about that? They have to laugh it off. Quit that. Quit that. Quit that. Anyway, I'll see you guys later. Love you. Bye. 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 Bye again.